Hindu temple in Melbourne has now been vandalized. This is the second such attack that has come to the fore in the recent past. We are given to understand that this vandalism has uh, taken place uh, at the Shiva Vishnu temple. This comes within a week of anti-India and anti-Hindu graffitis that was smeared outside uh, the Swami Narayan temple in Mill Park. So this is a second such instance in just two weeks. These visuals that you see on your screens are from the vandalism that was noticed on Monday. Devotees uh, who came to that temple noticed these uh, graffitis and this uh, slander messages that were uh, posted there on that particular uh, temple wall. A Khalistani hand or hand of supporters of Khalistan is now suspected. Devotees at this particular temple came to the fore uh, and noticed this particular graffiti when they came for darshan uh, on Monday morning. Thai Pongal festival is being celebrated by Tamil Hindu community there, which is why uh, we saw several devotees throng this particular temple. And that is when they witnessed this kind of uh, hate messages and uh, vandalism from this particular uh, temple. This is a Shiva temple in Australia where... Uh, We've seen such an attack. This is coming through from Melbourne, which witnessed similar attack not too long ago, about two weeks ago, when the Swami Narayan uh, temple there was also vandalized in a similar fashion. We've seen such kind of uh, vandalism, such kind of attacks happen in other countries as well, including in Canada and in uh, United Kingdom. Second such instance coming to the fore from Melbourne in Australia in just a span of two weeks now. The pro-Khalistani movement seems to be gathering pace, seems to be gathering momentum uh, in several countries, including Canada and UK. Like I have been mentioning, we saw several violent uh, protests take place in UK, in Leicester as well. There is an attempt that is being made by these pro-Khalistani sympathizers to whip up that kind of sentiment. But... All of that has been condemned by India, by the Indian government, raised with its counterparts as well. And the slander against India, this kind of Hindu phobia is being witnessed from all across Australia, seems to be joining that pattern as well. Jitar Jai Bardwaj, editor of Australia Today, joins us on this broadcast. So thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. This is just a second instance coming in from Melbourne in just two weeks. What seems to be the trigger for all of this and the kind of attacks that we've seen in the recent past? See, I can tell you the Khalistani elements which are uh, visible here in Australia, they are kind of desperate right now for traction. And this uh, second graffiti attack on another Hindu temple is a manifestation of this uh, uh, desperation of these Khalistanis. Uh, this attack happened uh, just on the same evening, same night, I can say, uh, when uh, Khalistani elements here in Melbourne were uh, organizing a car rally. And this car rally could not get uh, any traction. There were hardly 200 plus people uh, in that car rally. And just after that car rally, these elements uh, must have done in the uh, night of uh, 15th and 16th morning, they have uh, done this vandalization of Hindu temple. And I can also tell you, uh, this desperation also comes because this uh, uh, Guru Patwant Singh Panu is here in Australia and mm. he's trying to do whatever he can to uh, meeting the uh, parliamentarians here in Victoria mm. to get support for his cause and uh, he's not getting that kind of support. So that desperation is drawing them towards targeting the peaceful Hindu community here in Australia. Sure. Sure. So that desperation Mona? is clearly uh, visible from what we are seeing. We've seen similar uh, unfortunate instances come to the fore from several other countries as well, where pro-Khalistanis have been trying to do so from holding referendums to uh, going on to instigate the Hindu community. We've seen so in uh, Canada. We've seen so in uh, the UK as well. Uh, and uh, Mr. Bharadwaj, now we're seeing it in Australia. Has the Australian government reacted to any of this, given that this is a second attack in two weeks? See... 
As far as uh, I can tell you, there is a lot of murmur in the political circles. However, uh, from the government, if I talk about the federal government or the Victorian government here in uh, Victoria, they haven't come forward uh, that strongly against these hate crimes against Hindus. Mm. I mean, this is very surprising. I was talking to a lot of reporters in Canada and UK, and they were telling me that if such incident would have happened in UK, there would have been a very strong reaction from the political class. Mm. However, here in Australia, we are seeing a silence desperate uh, uh, um, time and again we are asking these political leaders to respond to what has happened with Hindu community first with Bab's uh, Swami Narayan temple and mm. this time Siva Vishnu temple uh, in Melbourne's eastern suburbs mm. and there is a uh, I don't know uh, there is a mum nobody is ready to react to it I don't know what what is the reason but um, this is not going down very well with the uh, Hindu community here in Melbourne mm. Another thing I would like to tell you, police has uh, issued the statement saying that they are um, uh, doing what they could. They are collecting the CCTV footage uh, from different avenues uh, from the temple and other avenues. I can tell you what uh, a police spokesperson, she told me that police is investigating these uh, graffiti at Milpa and at Karam Downs Temple. However, uh, this is an ongoing case. We will not uh, comment any further. Hmm. So uh, investigations are going on, but uh, a second uh, uh, vendor attack on Hindu temple in uh, as less than a week has put uh, Hindu community on desperate mood of fear, dismayed, and anger. I mean, um, uh, I have talked to a lot of uh, Indian community members uh, um, uh, near uh, who are who are regular visitors of Seva Vishnu Temple. Uh, they they are just uh, uh, dismayed. They don't know how to react. Uh, one of the ladies, she's an elderly lady, uh, Miss Usha, whom I talked to. She told me that she has been visiting this temple for the last thirty years. She mm. came to Australia as a refugee mm. from Sri Lanka. Um, and uh, she has not seen such a religious intolerance in her 30 years here in Australia. Poonam? Absolutely, so there are several of these uh, members of the community who've been living there, who've made uh, Melbourne, who've made uh, this particular region their home for several years now. And such unfortunate uh, instances coming to the fore, especially given that this is festival season, which is why perhaps... Uh, Mr. Bharadwaj, we also saw a higher footfall of devotees and uh, that perhaps was uh, also seen as a timing by these uh, sympathizers to even do so. Uh, definitely. Seva Vishnu Temple is primarily uh, was built by Sri Lankan Tamil community here in Melbourne almost 40-45 uh, years back. Mm. And uh, they are very uh, religious people, uh, very peace-loving people. And uh, Thai Pongal Festival was on full flow. It's a three-day festival, a lot of rituals, a lot of uh, food giving happens in the temple at that point in time. Mm. And on the same evening, same night, uh, uh, these vandals have attacked the temple. It's very unfortunate when the devotees came in the morning uh, mm. for Ekadeshi uh, Parva. They they kind of was were just disturbed, and mm. now uh, I'm told that temple community is in process of getting this graffiti removed from the gates of the temple. Sure. Poonam? Sure.